Hello and welcome to the series of Orchestrator API using Orchestrator HTTP Request Activity. In the last video, we have seen about Orchestrator HTTP Request Activity and its property. Also, we have seen the configuration to be made to access orchestrated data from Studio using this activity. In this video, we're going to see how we can access the folder data of our orchestrator using Orchestrator HTTP Request Activity. But before going ahead, please make sure that you have done all the configuration settings that I have shown you in my earlier video, which is part two. In that video, I have shown you how we can assign the role to user to access our orchestrator data because it needs some permission to access orchestrator data. And our orchestrator should be connected to our robot. I'm referring this document to get the endpoints to get folder data from our orchestrator http method is get then this will be our endpoint as an orchestrator url which is already connected with our robot so we don't need to provide this orchestrator url also we don't need to provide the tenant name as i already told you for this activity authorization is not necessary step so that this bearer token or authorization is not needed for orchestrator HTTP request activity. In short, to access folder data using orchestrator HTTP request activity, we just need to provide HTTP method which is get and the relative endpoint. And it will return folder data in a JSON format and the status code as a response. So let's go ahead and test this in our studio. I've simply created the process. So let's create a sequence in which let's drag the activity which is orchestrator HTTP request activity. So you'll find this activity under orchestrator API. So to get the folder data, we are calling get method. So we don't need to provide any JSON payload for this activity method would be get which is a default method for this activity and a relative endpoint so I'll tell you how we can provide a relative endpoint here so in this way we have to provide a relative endpoint in double quotes as a string format so let's create an output variable for our JSON response and create a variable for status code okay so json response and status code variable got generated for this workflow the output of this orchestrator http request activity will be a json response stored as a string format so to deserialize json we need deserialized json activity so to get the deserialized json activity you have to go to manage package and then all packages and simply type json from here you can download a package and you can save then you'll get the deserialized json activity under your activity panel simply drag it Input for this deserialized JSON would be the output variable of orchestrator HTTP request activity, which is a JSON response. And output would be the JSON object. So let's create one variable called folder data. So as you can see, a folder data is of type J object. Let's check our response in a message box so folder data and let's run the workflow let's check from our orchestrator end so if you can see here we have a two folder which is default and shared the same we are getting uh, in our response so suppose we want to uh, fetch the uh, folder data which is display name and its id 
So to access ID and display name, first we need to access value of this JSON response. So let's see how we can access this data in uh, inside our studio. So to access the folder ID and folder name uh, for each, uh, each folder, so we have to take a for loop. And inside the for loop, we need to provide a folder data of value. So we'll change the uh, type argument of for each loop from object to JToken as we are fetching the JSON value. Okay. And uh, to learn more about how we can parse JSON data in UiPath, you can watch my playlist of a JSON parsing in UiPath. So I'll give you the link in the description box. Uh, then after that, we need to drag a message box and inside it, so let's uh, get a folder name, which is item of display name. So display name is a name of a key of a JSON response for a folder name dot to string. So this is how we can get the folder name. Now we want to get a folder ID. To get a folder ID, we'll be accessing item of ID dot to string. So if you can see, if you can see the expression, so this is how we are accessing a folder name and this is how we are accessing folder ID of a JSON response. So let's go ahead and run the workflow. So here we got the uh, JSON object. Um, so here we got the JSON response, uh, one object for our default folder and one object for our shared folder and one object for our shared folder. And the folder name, which is default and the folder ID for default folder, then the folder name shared and the ID of shared folder. So this is how we can uh, fetch the folder data. So in this video, we have seen how we can access folder data from orchestrator using orchestrator HTTP request activity. And in the next video, we're going to see how we can access our process data, uh, such as process version and, sub and much more. Um, so till then, stay tuned with me. Happy learning. Thank you.